what <laughs> shaking bacon so I am gonna do a marker um, mixed media piece I, I did a marker base with a color pencil like with for all the details and I'm like really proud of it I put it in my portfolio even so I hope you guys enjoy this video I really love using this technique of having the um, first layers done in Copic markers and then adding more depth with the color pencils and even though that my technique for this is not perfected I'm really happy with how much progress I've made with this technique I've made a lot of mistakes in the past with it but I feel like now that I have been practicing and doing it more I am learning a lot about it to be an artist is to be a student and the great thing about being a self-taught artist is that there is no grade. It's a really freeing sort of, how do you say, just like exploration of it. And the only reason I'm doing it is just for the exploration and the gain of knowledge. And I feel like that is a beautiful thing and it really helps me out a lot in my art journey. It is a gift to be dissatisfied in your work and it requires you to want to do better, to strive for more. That's the beautiful thing about making a mistake is that it's a lesson to be learned. Perfection is an unattainable goal in my eyes and I feel like you have to know a balance of wanting more and being grateful for what you can do in the moment. That's why I really like working in uh, my sketchbook so much, just because you could just doodle and do studies and practices with no expectations except to learn more and to be granted the gift of knowledge. I try not to beat myself up o over a failed drawing or an imperfection because you shouldn't be ashamed of your mistakes. Mistakes mean there is more to learn, which I find exciting. Many great artists thought experiment, they'll try new things, and of course when you try something new, you have no idea what you're doing. But in your failing, you'll find new techniques, new subject matters, you're learning something, you're learning all the time by doing this. By trying and failing, you're gaining more knowledge that you would be doing if you did something that you're perfectly capable of doing and perfectly... Uh, what's comfortable doing. Like with my Copic markers, or my alcohol-based markers, i um only been using them for, I'm gonna say, about like two years, if that. And um, I've been drawing for like over 10 years, so it's kind of like daunting to try and make a new, or understand a new medium. And I feel like I've failed so many pieces and I like made so many mistakes with marker drawings but I've come a long way and I'm really proud of myself for that. I'm proud of my mistakes. I'm so happy to watch myself grow and try something new and even if it, it doesn't come out how I want, if it looks like a complete failure, it, it's something beautiful. When you're a baby or when a baby is learning to walk they fall like countless times and but they'll keep trying and trying again but in like a year's time they'll grow up running and jumping and like being a little a little demon child and like before you can run you have to learn how to walk right and you walk you learn to walk you fall down
that isn't as close to my main focus so that it will stand out better. It will pop more. After every piece, try to self-critique. It will make it much easier finding out how you can improve in your work as opposed to just doing the same thing over and over again and hoping you'll, you'll figure it out on the way. If you take the time to think and understand what makes the piece work and what makes it not work, you'll improve much faster than just practicing a lot. Mistakes are a beautiful part of the art process. You shouldn't be ashamed of being naive. It only means you have so much to learn and grow. It means you have untapped potential in yourself. Every artist makes mistakes, even the greatest artists you could think of. They make them. The difference between a bad artist and a great one is that one stops when they make a mistake and the great artists, they keep going and they don't give up. Every artist they have a bad drawing. They have bad paintings in them. You just have to draw them out. You have to paint them out. You have to create them out. And the more bad drawings you get out, the more good drawings you'll get out as well. And you don't even have to expose yourself or show the world the things you've made that you aren't proud of. I know we have... Um, a sort of art community where the social media it, it's hard to think of not sharing every piece every day all the time but you could keep some pieces to yourselves it's okay to keep artwork from the world you wouldn't air out your dirty laundry would you you don't have to share the pieces you consider failures you can try and fail and then you try again and you fail better. You make mistakes but in a better way. A successful artist is not built on perfection. They're built on mistakes and frustration and above all trying until they find their own success. Always remember that every great artist, they were once an amateur. You could go and scroll down all the way to like the beginning of the Instagram and their first post is not going to be as amazing as the most recent one. You could see stuff from when they were in school or when they were just kids and you could see that they, they started from somewhere. <clears throat> Your mistakes are not missed opportunities. They are just lessons to be learned. Masterpieces are made from the mistakes you've made in past pieces, past artworks. When you create a painting and you don't like the composition, you're going to try and observe and see what makes it better. When you fail at anatomy, you're going to practice that anatomy and make it better. And by doing this, you're working your way up to that masterpiece, to that piece that you're so proud of that you boast about. Don't be ashamed of your mistakes. It's something you should be proud of. Not everything you're gonna make is gonna be a masterpiece, and that's okay. That just means you're learning, and your next piece that you're so proud of is gonna be even better than the last one before. Like this piece, I'm really proud of it, and I'm ecstatic that I'm finished with it, but I know there's gonna be stuff that I'm not gonna like about it. And that just means the next time I do a piece like this, it'll be better. And I'll be even more proud of myself for completing it. Here is the full finished piece. I hope you guys really like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what, what you think mistakes are. Do you like rip up your drawings when you don't like them? Um, I know, I, I try not to do that. I try to be more positive in my mindset of that. So, I'll see you later, Gators. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I also have a Facebook page.